Good afternoon. Lottery sales are down, but the CEO for the New Mexico Lottery is getting a 26% raise. Some, including the governor's office, are questioning why his salary is now $220,000. News 13's Courtney Allen got reaction. Kim, while some people say that money should be benefiting students, the chairman of the organization says public perception is wrong. Lottery Board Chairman Dr. Dan Salzwedel says the increase for CEO David Barden is smaller than it appears. More money that could be going to the scholarship fund. This, we're talking about peanuts by comparison. Barden's old agreement had bonuses tied to performance. Now, all the potential earnings for bonuses is just part of his salary. Over a year ago, two years ago, uh, and we made a conversion based upon what he would have accomplished based upon those performance points. He didn't get a raise. It was simply a conversion as to what he would have gotten if he hit those points. Saul's Weddle says Borden would have received the bonuses anyway. On the other hand, some argue that the money should go towards funding scholarships. Governor's Office spokesperson Trip Stelnicki releasing a statement reading, Is the lottery doing a 26% better job of getting scholarship money to New Mexico students? I think if people find this salary and increase to be inequitable or improper, they have some justification for feeling that way. Saul's Buttle blames the state's 30% rule for low production, which requires the lottery to put 30% of gross sales into a scholarship program, which puts a cap on prizes for scratches. We could be generating more money than we have if we hit here than we do right now if we didn't have that 30% requirement. He says that's the reason the lottery is producing less, not because of the CEO's salary. He is getting what he deserves. You eliminate that 30%. And there will be more money coming into the scholarship fund. While the chair maintains the CEO is not receiving a raise at the moment, he did say it's possible the CEO will receive a 4% raise in 2020 pending his annual review. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Courtney. Now, lottery sales were up in 2018 after the worst year in sales in 2017.